So the time from when I had finished Battle Tendency to now has been a reasonably long amount of time. I've had opinions change, I've had time to look deeper into everything, and I've had time to realize a lot about characters, setting, and plot. One opinion I had after I finished Stone Ocean was, hey, Joseph Joestar was actually a pretty cool guy. While it looks like it doesn't relate at all, take in mind that at the time that I had finished Stone Ocean, I was still pretty fresh off of the older parts, so I would consistently look back and forth. I had multiple discussions with a lot of people that even to this day like Joseph the same way that they did from when they had first seen him, and those that view him the same way that I do now. Here's what I came up with as a final product. I would think that a majority of those that got into JoJo started with Phantom Blood. Now you could have any opinion that you want on Jonathan, but his character is his character. Gentleman, noble, compassionate, and all around a good guy protagonist. You saw what being a good guy got him, and now you sit down looking at the screen like, well shit, what do I do now? You go on to the next part, and then you're introduced to this guy. Joseph isn't like Jonathan in a lot of ways. He mainly acts on his feelings, he's quirky, when compared to other characters he's unorthodox, he's cool and crazy like with how we were shown Hamon. I believe that he would come through with some technique to destroy Straitso. No, he just filled him up with metal rain and laid him out. Coming from Phantom Blood, you could see Battle Tendency as Jojo with some Cajun seasoning and then you and you just dip it in buffalo sauce just because you can. Along with part 2 being the part with a lot more pop, people had gone into the specific wave of Battle Tendency. And how they got onto Battle Tendency is how they see Jojo right now. Pizzazz, posing, Pillarman, plotting, um, I, I don't have another. Now, the second reason I had found that exists for some reason is that he's always around. A lot of people coming from Battle Tendency had felt great to see Joseph again in Stardust Crusaders and then seeing him again in Diamond is Unbreakable, though I know how people felt seeing Joseph and the other JoJo's. There's people that didn't like Jotaro right off the bat, and it's understandable. You see Battle Tendency and you enjoy this buddy buddy guy Joseph, but then you see Jotaro disrespecting him, and even I was like, hey, this, this guy saved the world, show some respect. That's when I first watched Star Wars Crusaders. Though that's what you get when you're just surface level with Jotaro, and everything you think of him is what you get at face value. Then you see old Joseph with Josuke being treated differently, but Josuke has multiple reasons on why he's treating him like that. Joseph is now some type of retired legend, and then while it looks like he's fallen off in some cases, he still has his moments. Seeing Joseph could be like how some people see a Stan Lee cameo, like hey! I, I know you. You you did a lot for everyone. You're, you're cool. I like you. Thanks. Now, you could have other reasons why you like him. Feel free to tell me why. I had another reason where it goes on somehow people relate to the character, but I feel like that goes hand in hand with how they like his character to begin with. Because you usually like things you hold some sort of connection with personally. So comment what you think. I'd like any more insight on this subject, but that's going to be it. The next video around the subject, probably why people hate Joseph, and I can easily tell you that. I have, I personally have some words to say about Joseph and part two as a whole. That'd probably be a way longer video than this, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out and Godspeed.